former aide, Charlotte Bennett, she met with investigators for about four hours yesterday on Zoom. That's according to her attorney, Deborah Katz. And um, what we know is that she provided more than 120 pages of evidence that she says proves that um, there was a hostile work environment and that the governor had uh, sexually harassed her. One piece of information shared by Deborah Katz was that the governor, I guess, might have had a preoccupation with the size of his hands and what the large size of his hands meant. Um, it's part of you know the argument that they're forming that the governor has created a sexually charged atmosphere, a hostile work environment, and had sexually harassed Charlotte, if not also other members of his staff. He is you know proceeding normally as if nothing else is happening in some ways. Um, he spoke at a mass vaccination site yesterday. You know, his staff, they've been still trying to, you know, do their work as normal and um, sort of proceed again as if um, nothing much is happening. But of course, you know, the governor is facing you know, increased increasing calls for resignation. Um, President Biden and Nancy Pelosi, however, this weekend um, reiterated that they're awaiting the results of an investigation. Um, so it sort of, you know, remains to be seen how, if there are more calls for resignation, but at this point, the governor's given no indication that he is gonna be resigning.